Hi, this is Marguerite and I am here with part two of getting started with collage art. I just finished going over this list of ideas of where you can get ordinary paper scraps from. One of the things I have not talked about so far as another source of scrap material are paper pads. So this came from a uh, craft store. This is a small six by six. Um, I use these in making some of my other journals and I usually have remnants, pieces left over. I don't save all of the pieces, but I do save some and I put them in this uh, little plastic bag like this and I keep a whole bunch of different kinds so that I can use them for collage scrap later. They're just a bunch of different pieces, different styles, different colors, and I just kind of all throw them all together. And then later on when I'm looking for something in particular, then I can just kind of sort through. So this can be um, also good to have on hand, something like this. Okay, so I am going to start a brand new collage book. I found this at a used book sale for 25 cents. This is a gardener's organizer. And what I like about this book is that it has a ring binder and it also has pages that have tabs. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with it in that use the tabs how, I'm not sure, but I just was kind of drawn to it when I was thumbing through it. Also, there's these neat illustrations, and I, I might tear things out or cut them out. I'm not sure yet, um, but I thought it was pretty neat. And it was just 25 cents, which was a bargain, I thought. And I thought I could repurpose it into a collage book. Here are the papers where it says these notes um, where I wanted to do a collage. So I'm going to open this up, take out just a couple of pages to work with and then move this out of the way. Now, before I begin, something else about making art. It can be really intimidating when you're starting something new. You have these pages, blank pages in front of you and you don't really know how to begin. Um, you can't really envision what it's going to look like and you get apprehensive about it and then you don't start or you start something and you're immediately not happy with it. So just try and keep your expectations realistic and keep them, for me, my expectations, I always start them low. And what I mean by low is that this journal is just going to be for me. It's not going to be something that I'm going to sell. It's not going to be something that I'm sharing. I'm not giving it as a gift. So the pressure is off because it's just for me. And I don't have big grand plans for it other than wanting to have fun, wanting to improve what I do, um, wanting to learn how to make uh, my compositions you know, pleasing to, to the eye and be happy with what I make. So if you need to remind yourself of, of your goals in some way, write them down and print it out and put it in the beginning of your book. That's what I'm going to do with this one. So I wrote down what my notes are, my goals are for this, for this journal. And this is what I have. The contents of this journal are intended for an, audi an audience of one, me. I plan to use this book as a place where I can make mistakes, I can decide what works and what doesn't, I can experiment, I can have fun, I can copy someone else's technique for the purpose of learning. Now I'll stop here just for a second. Copy. Copying is, in general, not a good thing, especially if you copy someone else and then plan to sell um, what you do. All of you know that that is not correct. But copying someone's technique for the purpose of learning 
is fine in my opinion and um, if if you ever see something that I have done and you want to try and copy it just for the sake of learning how to do it that is totally fine with me so here in this example of a basic collage here I have a piece of pattern paper pieces of magazine another piece of pattern paper graph paper and then some rubber stamps so this is one two three four pieces of paper plus two rubber stamps if you break down the collage in that sense and say okay I can do that I have the same thing I have pattern paper at home I have pieces from a magazine I have graph paper and I have rubber stamps with different colored rubber ink so if you copy for the sake of learning someone's technique on how to do something it's great it's like it's like having training wheels for for learning how to do something so in my book that's totally fine okay to continue I'm going to use this space as a sounding board to test things and not judge myself harshly when I don't meet up to my own preconceived standards. So we are all our own worst critics. So trying not to be so hard on yourself is a challenge, but maybe that's something that um, you can kind of focus on when, you're, when you do a project like this. If what I make is ugly, that's okay. If I hate it, that's fine. It's okay because I'm learning and I know that the end result isn't as important as the process itself. That is really important to remember. The end result is not as important as the process itself. Here you're getting practice, you're learning. That is what you want. The, the education you get from doing this is, is what you want. This journal is just for me, so I'm not going to hold myself back. So this is what I have. This is what I printed. This will also be um, on my blog post if you're interested in having a copy or using it as an example of what you can do. Um, you can check it out and write one for yourself and then glue it in your book. Okay, so that is that. I will do that later. Here are my pages. I'm going to get started. I went through this morning. This is something that I received. Um, well, this one I got last year and I held on to it. Uh, I do get this catalog from time to time. I don't know why. I didn't sign up for it, but they send them to me. But they send me this catalog and it's got really cool pictures in it and I cut them out. So I did that and I have a nice little collection of these pieces. Look how pretty this is. That already starts to work there. I have to figure out if I'm going to keep some of this or um, collage over it. So I have some of those pieces. Then I have my pieces that you have been seeing for the past several minutes. This so I'm going to set these also on the side. I have my folder with additional things in it. There's some leftover art pieces. All right, so let's start with some of these. I don't quite know yet what I want to do. I have nothing in mind. I have no, no ideas of what I'm looking for. I like creams. I like paintings. I like photos. And I also like text. I have this scrap from somebody that sent me something. Well, let's see what I can do here. 
that off. I will re-hole punch that another time. So how about I start with that? I'll probably cut that off. What else? Something black and white. That looks kind of nice. These are very, very large pieces. Do I want something that's kind of illustrated? It's kind of interesting. I like how this color goes with this. So let's maybe move this back down again. Okay, that could be good. I like this image, but it gets totally destroyed, or not destroyed, but the image does not, its you don't see it. How's that? Okay. All right, let me cut all this down, glue it, and I will be right back. Okay, so this is how it's turned out now that I've glued everything down. The last thing I'd like to do is see if there's anything else that I want to add. So what I usually look at are postage stamps because that's my thing. I really like postage stamps. I'm using them pretty much in most of my collages. So I might use a postage stamp. I also cut out um, this girl and it goes very nicely here so i think i'm going to put that there and i might use one of these postage stamps so what i noticed is that i would like to bring out some of the color here so or i could take a blue a green a brown this green or this kind of reddish brown so just looking at my small um, what I grabbed from my pile of stamps I could do something like this but it says American Chemical Society so I'm not interested in that um, railroad engineers oh, this looks good honoring the teachers of America could be I think I'm gonna go with the teachers because it goes with this building as well so that's it. I hope that it helps with making some of your own collages. If you do, please take pictures and post them. There are all kinds of Facebook groups and um, things like that where you can share and get feedback from other people. So thanks for watching.